Here is the French model 1886 Labelle Bayonet. The French called this style the Epée Bayonet. It was named after the Epée sword, and they also gave it the nickname Rosalie after a song of that era. The Germans called it knitting needles. Originally, it had a 20 and a half inch blade, then many were shortened in 1935. Before 1960, 1916, they had nickel silver handles and a hook quillion, but the need for the, to conserve the nickel for the war effort, the handles were then made of brass, and in October 1914, the nickel silver was substituted with brass or aluminum bronze. In July of 1917, the handles were replaced with steel and gray cast iron. And also about that time, they stopped making them with the quillions. They also, Remington made the bayonets under contract. Prior to 1890, the bayonets had a false steel end cap on the back of the handle, which was hard to be disassembled by the armorers. They later replaced it using a rounded nut with two square holes to help hold the, the grip to the pommel of the bayonet. Some of the bayonet blades lengths were shortened to the 13 and a three quarters prior to World War I for the troop for the troops cyclists and then they had private contractors that have been found with MP, CF, CNP, GR, SC, and SG and it's not known at this time what those private contractors are and some during during World War I they had a three millimeter hole that was drilled in the bottom of the ball tip to allow the debris and water to drain from the scabbard. The letter prefixes of F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q are made for the National Arms Descent Esteem, or MAS, M-A-S. So let's take a closer look at this one here real quick to see what it shows. It is a cruciform or a spike bayonet. It fits over the barrel, and the front sight will be up through here. And the bayonet lug, this has the release here for it. This does have the initials MP stamped on there. This does have the nut here on the back with the two square holes. The serial number is N, which would be for the St. Estine. Then for the scabbard, it's metal also. This one does not have the hole drilled in the tip. And looking at this one here, it's real hard to see the serial numbers, but this one does start with, I'm sorry, let me get it up here for you. It's real hard to see it, but it does start with the letter L, also for the St. Estine. And there you have that, the bayonet and scabbard for the LaBelle.